Hi all, just a quick look at some new items, uh, something for tea, meaning Trans European Express. Now this coach set is for the 602 gas turbine set from Trix, Markley. This coach set's really hard to get hold of from, uh, in Trix, two rail version. A two, uh, two, three, three, one, five. Looks like that. Paid about 130 for these. Normally go for about 200 in Germany if you can get hold of them. Don't to get hold of these. Look like that. Metal bodies, beautiful paintwork and detailing, digital couplings, digital interior lighting, table lamps and all that lot. Yeah, really nice. Some weight to them as well. So I'll be hooking them up. Very soon, do the rest of the train test it out. And the other set is another Trans European Express. Um, it's the Class Ram RAM. Looks like a beautiful set. This box has been battered, dropped, hacked. Tore away there. Actually, I didn't realise there's some pictures on the back as well. Quite a nice picture there. So, yeah, the contents are immaculate though. All the instructions, mint, all the accessories. Contents are immaculate. That's what's so good about the, the packing on these things, you can drop them. And it's never going to get damaged, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to get this out of the box and fire it up. Get a few pictures of it. Beautiful set. Yeah, this is the DCC sound version, and it's got the silent uh, soft drive motor system, eight wheel drive, and digital uh, couplings and lighting. So, we'll have a look at that. Yeah, so let's just get it out. In. Very well tightly packed. Be really careful getting this out. There we go. Yeah, nicely packed. Looks like it comes. There we go. Beautiful loco. One of them ones where you're going to love it or hate it, but I actually quite like this one. Oh, strange. Oh, this, is, oh, this is going to work. I think it's got flexible couplings uh, on the other coaches, I'm not sure. Door connectors, I don't know. It's strange how this one's going to work. I've not seen that type before. Yeah, very nicely done. Quite a big speaker in there as well. Yeah, so to get the body off, you've got to tip it upside down and put it in a cradle like that. Um, and then basically you get some glue applicators, which won't, won't scratch the body again. I've used these in the past. Um, tip it upside down, remove the door corridor connector. It won't come off without that being removed. And then basically you uh, put one applicator in there, one applicator there, and one in, two in the middle. And it just eases off, but you've got to be very careful. Because it is extremely tight fitting and delicate, the body. So you don't want to damage it. Yeah, so I'm adding people. That's one of the reason, reasons I took it off the body shell. Plus this was uh, slightly uh, come off its mount, a lighting kit. So I had to remount that. I think it's due to the box being dropped in the past that it came in. But anyway, uh, to fit, fit the driver, obviously I had to am amputate his legs, cut this part of the seat off where it's sticking up because the seat's not to scale. So you've got to modify the seat by cutting away and just sticking the driver. Like that. This is in a dummy car and the rest of the dummy car, madding people. Also adding people standing up as well, because in trains you do get people standing up as well as sitting down. 
nice big windows on this model so you can see into it very nicely. And the lighting kit, uh, that's installed, factory installed. It comes in two pieces. It interlocks, it interconnects so it's easy, it's very easy to replace if it fails on this model. Uh, LED lighting, it's built in on this area here and shines through. The light prisms, so straightforward. At the other end of the dummy car we've got the, uh, there's an interface there for the wiring. So that's very nicely done. So we've got pickups on both bogies on the dummy car there, as you can see. Nice detail. Yeah, so on the main drive car, you uh, just pull off that panel, which is very easy to pull off. And pull off, uh, sorry, unscrew the two Phillips head screws. That's it. Yeah, so then when you take the screws off, you've got to tip it upside down and prise the body off slightly from the back, working to the front. The same on, on the dummy car, and it's quite very tight and precise fitting, and then eventually it'll just pop off like that and then you get access to whoops oh dear careful with the body because it's a very fine paint job on it um, so then you get access to the electronics board and there we have a 21 pin uh, DCC chip which is good because if you want to upgrade a sound you can do It's very easy it's not hardwired in, so it just goes in on the circuit board, <coughs> and there is another chip here, which is for the lighting control to talk to the other end. I think the chip at the other end of the train. That's for all the lighting. Yeah, I just fired up the program on um, the ECOS, and it brings all the tricks. The decoder is a tricks Markling one, and it's only got 35 CVs. I just thought I'd have a look at the uh, drive system because it's something you don't see when the body shells on and it's moving around a layout so yeah it's um it's eight wheel drive four drive wheels at each end the drive system's brought through uh, gears from the drive wheels up into a uh, gearbox a worm gear and then a universal drive connection and then into a prop shaft which goes along into the flywheel there into the motor out again into another flywheel, another prop shaft, universal shaft into a worm gear and then uh, transmits the power through uh, cogs, gears, whatever into the drive shaft, uh, into the drive wheels at the other end. As you can see it's quite a nice, very nice, uh, very smooth and quiet. You can barely hear it. Let's get it up to speed. Yeah. Yeah, you also got the added op option to put on the sort of realistic. Uh, hoses and couplings on the front that slot into that slot there. Yeah, so this is a tool you use for connecting up the five pin um, male and female digital connectors. Just place it under the track, it lines it up perfectly. And uh, you just move the other coach into position. And that's it, click, it goes in, when it clicks, it goes in.